Howdy boys and girls and welcome back. On this exciting episode, we're gonna be doing body filler and primer on the center console. But first, I would like to share an article from Tractor Chicks Magazine. Oh, here it is. Battered women. Sounds delicious! <laughs> Man, I've been spending money like I'm rich. Holy mackerel. Anyway, what I got is I bought some um, some reducer. I've got the tractor paint for the Alice Chalmers orange. Some uh, primer, and this is the gray primer, and uh, also some hardener. There's some hardener there, some thinner. I also bought some peeler. I'm gonna try some of this aircraft um, paint remover on a couple of stubborn places to get into. And I bought a little Duro block. I want to see how that works with wet sanding and dry sanding. And there's our primer. That's our epoxy primer. And there's its hardener. And this reducer actually goes with this in case you need it. So far, I didn't need it. And also, I bought um, some cups. And it comes in a hundred of them for these pint cups. And looking back, it might be better to go with quart cups. And a major, major shout out to Zippo Varga. Zippo, thank you so much. He was able to uh, get, steer me in the right direction to get me transmission axle seals. Uh, there's another seal, I forgot which this seal goes to. And this uh, used uh, lift lever. These things are so hard to find. And I hate asking for help, guys. I truly hate out asking for help. But sometimes you need to go to the experts, and if you need the expert on Alice Chalmers and Simplicity, it's Zippo Varga, man, by far. Thank you once again, and um, let's get on with the show. All no brand. Uh, remember when I bought it, it's gotten too chunky, so I can't do the whole thing with that because the bottom of it is really, really hard. But I did at least two pieces with the, the top of it, and I'm going to sand that down and show you what it looks like. Mixed it up on this mixing board. Well, let me show you what I've been working on. I've got a little body filler on here, the all metal. Got some of it sanded down here. And same on the back. Um, now I'm gonna put a little bit more body filler on it. Um, on these parts right here, I just used body filler without the all metal that just had the, the slight pitting in it. And I'm gonna show you how I mix that up. And also what I did with this is, since it was over the winter, I took it, sandblasted everything again. And since I couldn't get to the body filler right away, I put the phosphoric acid on it with a paintbrush and then just wiped it, the excess off so it leaves a nice little uh, zinc type or phosphorus that is coating on there and uh, it doesn't rust your metal. So that's looking good. The next thing I do is wipe it down with some wax and grease remover and put the body filler on. We'll get to doing that. up a little bit of this body filler. We're going to use a whole bunch today. Um, and once again, it's on a sheet of glass that I got from Home Depot. It seems to be a nice little mixing surface, surface that is. So, and guys, for those of you who watch this on YouTube and TV, looks real easy. Mix this stuff up. Well, it's not. Stuff is like dealing with tar. You're trying to make tar do what you want to do. Okay, there's the there's the stuff, and I'll get some hardener in it. Okay, hey, there's the hardener. Once again, this stuff is like working with tar, guys. So it really looks easy when you see the dudes do it on TV, but it's not. And I'm, what I'm trying to do is mix it so that, like those dudes do and not getting air bubbles in, so you keep smashing it around until you get a consistent color and then you're ready to slather it on. 
Today I'm going to do a little something different than I did last time because cleaning this glass off is a little harder than I thought. So once this stuff is ready to go, I'm going to put it off of this glass and onto something else that's not quite porous too to spread the filler on there. Here's my non-porous sur surface that is. Okay, so I'm going to try to get most of this off of this glass. Get it under this deck on box here. Okay, now we'll start putting it on. I'm putting it on thin, guys, because it saves you a lot of sand, and if you don't, if you don't thicken it up on there, it'll save you a whole bunch of sand. Well guys, here's something I learned about body filler. Less is better. Put a little on, sand it, because if not, boy, it takes you forever to sand this stuff out. Anyway, she's coming along with the sanding part. Gonna get her all feathered out and get her ready for primer. Okay, after a couple of hours of sanding, you can see it looks pretty nice and smooth. I got most of the pits covered up. Um, and it's just like they say, when you're sanding, you don't really know how it is, is, if it's smooth or not, unless you use your hands. You can see a little bit of the all metal body filler up here, which is like a monster to sand. And here's the regular body filler here. It feels fairly smooth on everything. These were the two worst parts right here with as far as pitting and holes and stuff. So that's what that looks like. And Let's get some primer on this. First of all, we're going to wash it down with some wax and grease remover, make sure it's really clean, and then get some primer on that baby. And we'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. Dad, can I have a toll drink? Sure, son. Here, son. Thanks, Dad. This tastes like cheap tools. Matco Tule. Tastes like real tools. Good tools. I prefer metric. Here, son. Try the Matco Tule. Thank you. Bam! We're going to try to see if we can get some paint sprayed. Okay, here we go. That's the uh stuff I put down there you can see where the body filler stuff is kind of showing through but I put down thin coats about uh, three or four of those thin coats got good coverage well here are the primed epoxy primer primed pieces and some of you guys may be asking why did I go with black primer well I saw a guy that was doing a 74 Nova I do believe his thing is Talon for WD and what he does is he does the epoxy primer in black and when he puts the gray primer over it, when he's sanding it to get it perfectly smooth if he sees black he knows he's almost about to wear through to bare metal and I thought what a great idea so I did the same thing so also guys you're if you're curious about that finish on there I've got a buddy who's a mechanic and I showed him this piece right here and he says it looks like factory e-coating so that paint that painter really laid down that primer beautifully now another thing I'm gonna do 
is put this back together now and you can see that there's some imperfections and plaw, uh, flaws and I knew that but what I'm going to do now is put it back together and see what things show because there's so much work involved with getting it flat and smooth that I'm only going to concentrate on the parts that can be seen. Now, I know this one for example goes on like this and so none of this underbody can be seen so you can see the, there's still some pitting and I didn't even try to put body filler in there. But on the top here uh, I got it fairly smooth. There's a couple of little places I'm going to put some glazing putty, like right here, for example, and here. Put a little glazing putty in that, get it sanded out, and uh, when we get the paint on it, it should be really, really smooth. And that's what I'm going to do with all the pieces. So that's my game plan. And uh, once again, you can see it's kind of funny, the uh, body filler soaks up a little different amount of primer than the other. So even though that looks like really rough there guys, it feels smooth to the hand and um, like I said, once I get sanding on it and get some more primer on it, it'll probably look really, really good. And now, back to Tractor Chat, exclusively on the Tractor Channel. Welcome back to Tractor Chat and I'd like to thank Beyonce one more time. Beyonce, thank you for stopping in and sharing your tractor collection with us today. Now, we only have time for one more viewer letter. This one is from Morgan. Dear Jaster1963, I am a Hollywood starlet, I am foxy, I am sexy, and oh yes, I almost forgot to say, I am very good looking. I am currently on location filming in the French Riviera, and I enjoy the Dom Perignon Champagne, the walks on the beach, but right now I am missing my Malibu beachfront home and my tractors. Thank you, Tractor Chat. It brings a little bit of home when I'm away from home. I love you. Well, thank you, Morgan. We love you too. And actually, I wrote a tender tractor love song, and that's the song we're gonna go out on today. So, band, just like we practice, hit it. Mother! <laughs> <laughs> 